So to earn my white coat, I must eat one of these wax worms. Ooh. Beep, beep, beep. Like a robin, I can't hear you! <laughs> Woo! The elevator almost ate me. It's been a while since I've been in college. Today we're at the University of Arizona, and we're gonna be getting up close with some nematodes. But first, we need to find Dr. Stock in room 720. Follow me, guys. So just uh, walk into the first open lab you see is kind of the play here. You know, we're definitely in the right spot. You've got biology and worms up there on the tack board. Back to school. Ah, there it is, room 720. Oh, oh so guys, boy. Who let who this guy in? I was going to say, who let Mario in? Guys, I am a trained scientist. All right, here. Let's see what you've been doing. What have you been what up to? What you in here without any permission? What have you been uh, up to in here? You weren't touching anything, were you? What? No, don't touch it. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm conducting a few experiments um, on my own. Yeah. We're looking for Dr. Stock. Have you seen her? I don't know. Maybe uh, around the corner. Oh, Dr. Stock! Paging Dr. Stock! Coyote's here! Oh, there you are! Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hey. You look very official with the lab coat. Of course. And some, I'm assuming, important papers. Of oh, some just sort. looking at the things that I need to pay for. Ah. The bills of lab equipment and supplies. Kind of important, I guess. Yeah. So, as I understand it, we're going to be getting up close with nematodes today. That's right. And does love, people know what yeah. nematodes are? Yeah, those. they're like a little amphibian. Yeah, they're, they're bumpy yeah, little yeah, warts, yeah. really cute little buggy eyes, right? And they mm -hmm. get that tongue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? No, no toads? Nematodes are roundworms. Oh! oh. Roundworms like a parasite? Like Hold a on. parasite, yeah. I was, I, I signed up for toads. I heard toads and That's I was like, I love toads. Me. He told me toads. Yeah. I but have no fear because the ones that you are going to see in my lab are actually not that gross looking. I actually find them very cute. Really? Interesting. Okay. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, I'm in there. there oh, now I feel see. official. I'm all professional. How do I look, guys? You actually look more intelligent, believe it or not. Yes. I have intelligent things to say. It's a very astute day for Coyote Peterson because we're going to be learning about nematodes, which are not amphibians at all, but are actually a parasite. I thought they were just cute little amphibians. Okay, let's get into this. Yeah. Well, what are we doing today? Well, you are going to get that actually bugs get sick too, and one of the diseases that bugs Wait, 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 wait. Did you say bugs get sick too? Yes. As in insects sick. can get so, sick? Yes, so that's my profession. I'm a bug doctor. Well, this is pretty cool. Now, this is one of the first episodes we've ever filmed in a situation like this, where we're in a lab, we're working with microscopes, and I see you've got all these little test beakers and pipettes out here. So let's kind of follow what it is that you do, and we're gonna learn something cool today. Yeah, turn over to Dr. Stock. Why don't you tell us about yeah. what we're looking at here? Well, yeah, so uh, as I mentioned before, I work with insect diseases, with mm -hmm. nematodes, and the nematodes that I study are actually very tiny little creatures. So this flask that has water, and if you can see what is the flakes that are shaking inside, those are the nematodes. Those are nematodes? Yes, those are insect parasitic nematodes. I see they kind of do look like little squiggly lines. To me, this just looks like bad tap water. Yeah, and I, yeah, yeah, and you shouldn't drink it, actually. Oh, I was going to say, can I taste it? Well, bad idea. I wouldn't recommend that. Okay. If, just in case. If the doctor says don't drink it, yeah, don't just drink in it. Case. I can show you actually other kinds of nematodes. Yeah, oh, there's different kinds of nematodes. Yeah. Oh. Wow. So that. That's a nematode. Yeah, and you know where it came from? A poop? Well, it came from a lake in Wisconsin, and actually that's a nematode that was parasitizing an immature stages of a dragonfly. Wow, that came out of a dragonfly? Mm-hmm. Now, how did you extract it from the dragonfly? It came out on its own. That's crazy looking. Can you actually even see that yeah. on your camera? Oh, yeah. So that's nothing for us as humans to be afraid of, but if you are a dragonfly larva, that's oh, like your that's worst nightmare. Oh, that's bad news. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, hey, I noticed there's some plants down here. Are, are you working with some plant yes, research? Yes, yes, yes. Well, actually, it's all connected. So we are studying nematodes that parasitize insects that are uh, pests to important crops that we eat. Okay. Like oh, is that a big caterpillar? Yeah, that's a big caterpillar. Wow. 
get it out for oh, you. Oh wow, this is a caterpillar. <gasps> yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. What kind of caterpillar is that? Oh, this is it kind of bite, like does a, it? No, it's a tobacco hornworm. So this is a pest insect, despite the fact yes, that it's they are very really voracious. Beautiful. They could feed on this plant. If we, if I put that caterpillar on this plant tomorrow morning, I have no leaves. Really? Mm-hmm. Got it. Yep. That's good. So where does everything start, right? In my research? In a tummy? No, in the soil. <laughs> oh, in the soil. In the Doesn't soil. all life come from the belly of something? <laughs> Actually, I have to say that thanks to these worms, I travel around the world. And I've been all over the world sampling. What? Something for worms? For these nematodes. Whoa, those worms are gross looking. Yeah, well. What are those maggots? No, that actually, this is our guinea pig. Okay. And also, I use them as baits to get the nematodes that are living in the soil. That's so, nematode bait? Yeah, so when I go to the field and collect dirt samples, mm -hmm. I bring them to the lab, then I put them in containers like this. I put all these wax worms, which actually are a pest problem in beehives, because mm -hmm. if they get into the beehives, they would feed on all the wax in the comb of the hive, and it will destroy the comb. So that's where they get the so, name wax worm. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. So what I do, I leave this dirt sitting in another room that I have in my lab for a week. And after that, the magic happens. So what I get is all these infected caterpillars those are dead? dead? Yeah. Oh, what happened? Don't just don't, that's... Oh, I smell it. Just hit me. Keep it back. Oh. I got a zoom lens. Yeah. Well, oh my gosh, that is putrid. Yeah. I almost threw up my burrito into well, your little nematode but in, waxworm pile. In spite there. of that smell, actually there's no putrefaction here because actually the nematodes that we study have inside their tummies bacteria. And this is the bacteria that comes out from the nematodes. So is that some valuable research right there in that yes, container? Yes, because actually the nematodes, what they do, they vector the bacteria who are actually the true insect killers. So okay. the bacteria is the one that kills the insects and then what... And the bacteria is coming from the nematode? Yes. Okay. Yes. So the nematode is the distributor of the bacteria that ends up in the yes, wax worm. Exactly. I'm learning here. Yeah. And I hope you can capture this with the camera. So you have your dead insects there. Let me, let me plug my nose, get down there real close. Oh yeah, I see something. Oh my gosh, that's like a deflated wax worm. Those are the worms coming out. Why don't we take a look under the microscope? Because I think everybody would really like to see these worms in action. Oh yeah, so we can put these under the microscope yeah. and get an up close look and at these mm -hmm. little wigglers. Like, yeah, and we can go to my other Woo. lab where we have really the microscope. Yeah. The, the microscope. Dr. Stock, I'm, I'm lightheaded here. All those Funky smells. Woo. So I have the worms here actually ready for you. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna look inside these little eye sockets and the other camera's gonna point at the screen so you guys can see what it is that I am seeing. Are you ready? Yep. Here we Mario, go. Get that shot. Yep. Get that shot on the screen there, Mario. All right. Oh boy. That is one squiggly worm party. Are you serious? So this is what's going on inside of those wax worms? Yes, exactly. And how many of these are inside a wax worm at any given time? Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands? Yes. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds what? of thousands. Wow, that is really cool. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to crouch down here. We're going to look at this actually on the screen so that I can talk to you guys while we're looking at this. Now, are we just seeing, we're just seeing the silhouettes of them, right? Yeah, actually, these are the ones that are coming out from the insects, and we call them infective juveniles. Okay, so these are opportunistic predators looking for a host that they mm -hmm. can then infect, they'll grow inside, and then yeah. how do they reproduce? Do they reproduce inside of the waxworms? So, yes, they will reproduce in, in the waxworm or any other insect that they think is suitable for them. But okay. actually, the nematodes go into the insect blood and that sends a signal to the nematodes to start opening their mouth or anuses and the bacteria start coming down. And so the bacteria are either defecated or regurgitated and the bacteria throw toxins that kill the insect and the insect dies. Now when the insect dies, it's actually the most important part because now there's all that food supply for the nematodes to start growing and multiplying. 
Wow. Well, this is pretty cool. Wish I had a microscope like this. So what else can we take a look at? you have any other worm species or parasites? Yeah, I can show you some human parasites that I use for my class. Ooh, human parasites. Mm. Let's check that out. All right, you lead the way. All right, back in the dirty lab. And okay, somebody already placed them on the table. Yeah. I'm guessing those are the human parasites. Whatever gave it away. Yeah, well, I wasn't actually even looking at that. I was just looking at that. This is what I always imagine would crawl out of my mouth if I had a tapeworm and I put the bowl of milk in front of me. Are those tapeworms? No, actually, these are nematodes. They're those are also nematodes. nematodes. Yes. Giant, supersized ones. Yeah, they actually is called Ascaris lumbricoides. Oh, that's complex for something that just straight up can be labeled disgusting, in my opinion. But you love these things, don't you? Oh, I do. This I is love, fascinating I love to you. Parasites. How would you know as a human if you had one of these inside of your You probably organs? would have many of them in your stomach. <laughs> no, no, no. Dr. Stock, there's no way that I have any of these inside yeah, of me. Yeah, and you would look almost like pregnant with a big swollen belly. I work on my yeah. physique a little bit. Yeah. Do you think that I might have some of those inside of me though? Oh, no, I don't think so. No. Woo! In the clear. So, Dr. Stock, there is a rhyme and a reason behind all the science and all the work you're doing with these incredibly fascinating nematodes. Can you sum that up for us real quick? Yeah, so actually, as I mentioned in the very beginning, we are trying to develop alternatives to pest management. So how does a nematode then help you control the pest population? Well, nematodes actually are important insect parasites. If they are mass produced and formulated, they can be used to our advantage. Okay, so basically then the nematodes can help control populations of pest insects like these caterpillars that are just decimating crops and in a sense are becoming the pest control of the future. Exactly, and actually even further, uh, they are safe to the environment than to us. That is so cool. Well, this is definitely one of the most complex and scientific episodes I think we have ever filmed. I learned so much today about nematodes. Dr. Stock, thank you so much for having us into the My lab. My pleasure, it's been wonderful. Wow. That was crazy. I, hold on. What? We're not done yet. What do you mean we're not done? You, you, I was going to give an outro. You didn't have your snack, and you know, we titled this video Eating a Parasite. Oh, gosh. So, I was kind of hoping think you guys can, forget about oh, that. I don't think you can leave this lab. No, no, but I can say, wait, wait a minute. You can leave. I, I have a present for you. What's oh. the present? The, the, the what's one. Oh, but which is a parasite, so... Well, uh, a parasite host? Hey, if, if it's between eating one of these or a waxworm, I don't know, man. I think I'd go for the wax. Give me the waxworm. All right. I would say so. Actually, Gosh. every... Every lab member, to become a lab member, needs to have one waxworm. So to earn my white coat, I must eat... One of these waxworms. Oh. A great source of protein. And I'm just gonna dump this whole thing of waxworms in my mouth and chew it up? Oh no, I can pick one for you. And oh, just you. one? That's just a, one little That's a lot better. That's all I ask, only one caterpillar. Oh, oh you had to pick the big squisher. You can become the official lab member. Oh, so man. instead of chopsticks with this forceps. Now how do I know there's no nematodes in there? I can guarantee that. Uh, I'm trusting you here. Wait, I don't know, I, guys, I, I might puke on this. You know what happens. Oh. Will this help? Oh. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. That's 2,000 milliliters. That's probably what I got in me right now. All right, I'm gonna hand this little one back to you. I can give you oh, that. Oh, Dr. Sachs, gonna feed you. Like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, like I can help. Like your like little baby bird. Just to, just to make sure. Can you make a little squawking sound like you're hungry? Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Oh! Oh! What's it taste like? Oh, like a bad bean. A <laughs> bad bean? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I'm holding it. Uh, I'll give you some help. Oh. Here you go. I swallowed it. You did it? I swallowed it. Yeah. I swallowed it and I didn't puke. Okay. Oh my gosh. You guys want to try? You want to join the club? Come I, on, I man. Might, this, might, this might get me to puke. I don't think so. We have the bucket. If it didn't make me puke, it's not going to make you puke. This is called uh, when the tables have turned. Yeah. yeah. But look at me. I'm doing just fine. I ate the big one, yeah, too. Yeah. Big squisher. And he's all energized. Yeah. Actually, I feel really good about myself. Hold your this bucket. This is the first time I've never puked from eating something. I'm, I'm I puked from eating fruit. 
These that's, are worms. That's definitely the grossest thing that's I've ever seen you eat. pretty impressive. That one's not big enough. Oh, Get him that big one in the corner. Right. Ooh, yeah. What did I do to this well, guy? That's Chunky Charlie. Yeah. yeah. All right, now make those bird noises, Mark. Yeah, come on, Mark. Tweet, tweet. Make those bird noises. Come on, little baby Louder. bird. Like a, like a robin, I can't hear you. No, 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 no. Chew it. I, I had to swallow real quick. It did you even chew it? I, it popped. Anyway. The popping is the worst part, and you expect there to be a real pungent taste, but there isn't. It actually tastes it. like a bean. Okay, my lab coat. That, that's the first time I've ever <laughs> eaten a bug. Oh man, that was... I wish I could say that no bugs were injured in the making this of one. this video, but unfortunately, a couple of them have been eaten. All right, Mario, Ooh. I don't think you're gonna escape this one, buddy. All right. He's so fish I ate a big lunch at breakfast. You know, you can always top off a burrito with a little waxworm, buddy. It's the new yeah. dessert. Oh. Where's your uh, where's your lab coat, Mario? <laughs> okay. And uh, you know the drill, buddy. You've seen us both do it. We're gonna need some good bird noises. What yeah. bird species would you like to be? Uh, <laughs> uh, a cuckoo. Okay, let's hear what a baby cuckoo sounds like, cause it's yeah, dinner time. Practice, Mama bird has come back with a fresh pile of wax worms. I'll, I'll do my little wings. Yeah, that's cool. That's great. Well, I can't hear the sounds. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, 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 it popped. That's the food of the future. Well, I'm, I'm in the present right now. And <laughs> I'm the present, I had a burrito, but no, you know what? It wasn't that bad. It wasn't Good. that bad. Somebody get this man a lab coat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. Do I have enough lab coat? Well, I sure hope so. Well, let's see. I'll give you oh. my lab coat. Hey! Oh. What a good yeah. mama bird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good yeah. job, guys. Look at that. High fives hey up here. We have all successfully eaten wax worms. Now my stomach feels really funky. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this camera and place it over here. Wow, I am incredibly proud of us guys. We have all eaten wax worms and we are now all officially doctors. Dr. Livens, Dr. Aldecoa. Wait, we're doctors? Yeah, that's what the lab coat I, means. I don't think that's how it works. Oh no, I'm definitely putting Dr. Coyote Peterson in front of everything now. Dr. Stock, thank you so much for having us into the lab today. This was enlightening. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Hey, Coyote Pack. I've got some great news. We are doing two live shows in Australia, one in Melbourne and one in Sydney. The tickets are on sale now. And for everyone in the United States, get excited because a West Coast tour is coming in early 2018. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure. I'm Kyrie Peterson. Be brave.